Welcome back, Brazil, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is uh, well, it's December the 6th, 2021. It's time for your evening COVID-19 analysis. But before we get started here, I have a couple of favors to ask. First of all, a big thank you to the six people who watched this video yesterday. I appreciate every single one of those six views. I, I check the numbers every single day, okay? Before we get started, of course, of course, you, you know the first part of it, right? To subscribe to the channel, to like the video, click on the share button, share the video with your friends and family today. You can do it on Facebook or Twitter. You can also copy and paste the link to this video into an email or text message. Now I have a couple of new favors to ask. I have really one new favor. If you click on the link below the description, you're gonna see a link to, to, to my Twitter account. I would appreciate if you click on that link on Twitter and follow me on Twitter today, okay? And finally, if you're interested in our programming or data analytics, be sure to come back. You also see a link to my Twitch channel down below. I'll be doing a live screencast, data, data analytics screencast at 8 p.m. this evening. So be sure to come back and click on that link if that's something that interests you. Okay, so let's, let's just go over here and get started with, the, with Brazil's numbers. Uh, I believe that I got some notes from. Uh, on this report a couple of days ago, and they said apparently the government has changed the way they're tracking numbers. So, for, so for, uh, I guess I have a problem with that because you're telling me for the first, does that mean for the first 18 months you were doing it wrong? Right? I mean, cause the, the, the system seemed to work just fine for the first 18 months. Okay? But now all of a sudden they have to change it. Okay? To me, I'm sorry. That, that, that's very suspicious. I, I, I really have to. I really have to suspect. I'm really suspicious of their motives. Okay. So, anyway, as you can see here. Uh, but as always, the trend is still our friend. Okay. You can't hide from the trend. Okay. So, what you can see right now, uh, Brazil, about 21.5 million cases. Uh, so I say 599,000 deaths. Now, as you can see here. You've passed the 2021 deaths has passed 2020 deaths. Our question, of course, is what? How many of these people were vaccinated here? Okay. And when did these deaths occur? I mean, how, how much has the, the change to the, to, the, to the reporting methods changed these numbers here? Okay. So to a certain extent, you change the method and you, and you kind of shoot yourself in the foot if the numbers look worse than they really are. Okay. Worse than they had been. Okay. But anyway, look at deaths. You've doubled the deaths. 2021 deaths has doubled, there's twice as many deaths in 2020. Of course, our question is what? How many of these people were vaccinated? Now, if we take a look at the numbers as a whole, you can notice what's slightly different to your numbers is it's, it's a more of a gradual, in, uh, beginning in July of last year, you saw a gradual increase in COVID 19 numbers all the way over to here. So, on, uh, so the, 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 you're, you're the COVID-19 cases, okay, peaked, well, yeah, overall peaked on, on March the 25th, uh, 2020, at, uh, with an average of uh, 75,497 cases on average. Now, the reason I can say, I'm basically ignoring these spikes here, because these, my guess is, you know, it, uh, I mean, they probably found some more cases someplace, and these, these so these probably are not... These spikes are probably more than one day's worth of data, okay? So anyway, you can see over here. So we could, we could actually say, while well, you had this spike right here, we could say that, that you've had a, a fairly long declining pattern down to here, okay? Because the spike came up a little bit, then it immediately began to fall back down. So as of uh, October the 5th, you had 20,528 cases for a single day. And on the on the average, as of the and as of nine twenty eight, you were averaging fifteen thousand five hundred forty seven cases per day. Now again, you have you know a lot of people the country saw a much steeper incline, you know over here, followed by a long downward another long a long, long decline down until July. But yours, you know. From July to January 1st was basically moving kind of horizontal. Then in January, you had the spike. And that number spiked at, uh, on the April the 8th at 4,249 deaths from COVID-19, okay? And then dropped all the way back down 
on this on October 5th to 6, 677 deaths with an average deaths per day of 561. Okay. And here's the week now, but you can see this this long increasing pattern begin all the way back over here in July, continuing all the way up until almost uh, up until Jan well up until Jan uh, up to late January 2021. You had, and then finally you regard, you start to get some relief for cases, and your cases have been declining pretty much since that time. Okay. Now what about deaths? Well, deaths is kind of the same thing. You kind of level off here, a slight decline, but then then here and then and then and then late. 2020, you began to see an increase. And that number spiked over here, OK? Before continuing, before we continue a long downward trend in the number of deaths. All right? Now, what about monthly numbers? Well, you're, you're currently riding a three-month decline in, uh, in COVID-19 cases, OK? And you're riding a one, two, three, four, five-month decline in COVID-19 deaths. So, you know, by gosh, you, you folks in Brazil are not doing too bad of a job, okay? Are not doing too bad of a job. Your numbers are decreasing, okay? Okay, Brazil, so that, that concludes your report for today. And we'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report. So, like I say, this does conclude your report today, Brazil. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.